Funky people, what is up? My name is Muse, back again with another tutorial, this time covering Mala Bass. A lot of you guys asked about this, so we're going to do it now. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed the drum fills we sent out Sunday. And uh, look forward to some Tech House Bass one-shots coming out this next Sunday from Sampler a week. Let's get right into the tutorial. Alright guys, so for this tutorial, I started again with just a basic kick, hi-hat, clap. I've added in a little bit of percussion, some vocals, a riser, just to kind of give us the basic foundation before we get into making the bass. So this is what we have to work with so far. Everybody in the place to be. Okay, so pretty basic, not too much processing on anything really, just straight samples. Um, again, if you guys like these, you can always download them in the link in the description. Let's get into making the sub. So, so making the bass, I always like to split it up into three different parts and then layer them together. I feel like that always gives you a more full sound. So I like to start with the low end. And so for that, we're going to put in serum. I've created just this basic... Uh, you know, MIDI, just like a groove. Okay. And so from here, let's turn off oscillator A. We're going to turn on the sub, direct out, drop it two octaves. We're not going to be doing anything too crazy here. Just drop the sustain, drop the decay a little bit, and give it some release. Turn this all the way up, master all the way up. Nice, and so that should give us a good little foundation to start off with, with for the sub. Uh, I'm just going to take off anything below 30, and then we're going to take off the top end of it. Nice, and so we'll keep it right around there. Next thing we're going to do is go into making the mid part of the bass. So for that, we're going to use, again, the same serum preset. Drop it in here. And we already have the envelope for it, so let's just turn off the sub for this one. Let's turn on oscillator A, turn on oscillator B, turn on the filter. We're going to route both A and B to the filter. Random's going to go all the way off. And so we're just going to drop the envelope right on, on the filter, right here. Bring this down. We don't want it opening up too much. And from here, we can get creative. I really don't know where we're going to go with this right now, but uh, let's see what we come up with. So level down on oscillator B, level up on oscillator A. I'm going to do some FM later, and so that's what that's for. And what do we have with this? Cool. Let's go into analog. Let's choose basic. Nice. Okay, and then let's do some FM from B. We're going to choose analog. Let's choose something else. Uh, how about acid? And see what this gives us. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And so this will get you like kind of to a to a starting point to where now you have you know your low end. Now you have your mid. So. From here, I'm going to effects, let's add some compression. Okay. And let's go back, throw another EQ on it, and this time we're going to take out the high end. Let's also take the low out right up to about 100. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and mix this back in, drop it all the way down, and we have a sub. Nice. 
Nice. And so remember, you always want to be able to hear both of the layers at the same time, and you want them to mesh really well. And that just comes with practice. Let's throw on another same serum. So this is what we started with for the mid. Let's see what we can do with it over here. And so remember, for this one, I want more of a more more harmonics and uh, more tone in the high end. So for this, I can do something like bring this up. Let's just completely change this wavetable. Nice. Super fm -y sound. Very metallic. And so for this one, we can even go back in. We'll give this one a little bit of reverb. Let's use maybe plate. Nice. And so let's bring this all the way down. And we're going to mix it back in. So, so far we have... So, so far it's a pretty decent bass. Let's, uh, let's process it a little bit more. I already have a compressor side chaining from to the, uh, from the kick and we're going to use, uh, let's use some more X for it. Let's use OTT and throw that on here. Drop the depth down to about 20%. This is where I like to start. So we're using multiband compression. And then another thing we can do, and this is more of uh, for the transient of it to make it a lot more punchy, is to use a glue compressor. And we'll use, we we'll start with the punch preset, see what that gives us. Maybe punch in parallel. and just kind of give it a little bit of a clipping effect. We're not going to squash it too much, lose all the dynamics. We've already compressed it, you know, a ton. And so... Right about there. Cool. So, going back into the track, let's see what we have. Everybody in the place to be. Okay, and if you guys like the sounds, of course, you can always download them, but this is it for the bass. Of course, you're going to go back into the track, you're going to work on the mix, make everything fit well, but for the most part, this is where, you know, you, you have a starting point to get that kind of general idea. You guys, as always, thank you for watching this. If you like it, please comment, like, and subscribe below. If you like the sounds I use, you can always grab them in the link below. Next week, I'll be sending out 10 Tech House Base house kind of uh, base one shots that you can use in your productions and let me know what you thought of the video let me know what else you guys want to learn i always love making things that you guys actually want to know and not just random videos other than that i'll see you next time peace out